Well, here we are back in the back hallway of Alternative Healthcare Solutions, and the reason we're doing this today, when I teach my M2 classes, a lot of times the uh, students want to know what can we do exercise-wise after we have done the components that uh, require you to release the tight upper cross pattern of inhibition, if that makes sense to you, and that is where the pectoralis, major and minor, the upper trapezius, and the levator scapulae have been pulling us into this rounded posture for so long, and then we do the MET techniques to get them back. But I always say with upper cross pattern of inhibition, you have to stretch or take out the tone first, and then you have to strengthen immediately afterwards. Well, people say, well, what do you use? What's your, what's your first line that you teach the patients to do? So today I'm gonna to show you those exercises. And the first and the easiest one to do, I call a door frame stretch. Now these are available on my website, tomoaklerpt.com, and all you have to do is go to the exercise uh, section and you can actually download the sheets if you wanted to give them to your patients. But the first one is a door frame stretch and you find a door that's got a frame that's not too wide so that the patient can get their forearms and hands. So I don't want this, I want this. And the person sets a foot through and gently bends the front knee and stretches their chest through. Now I don't have them bounce their stretches, I have them hold a comfortable stretch and they can do it in a straight position or if they feel a better stretch to get the sternal uh, portion of the pectoralis, they can do this position. And I have them do it for about 60 seconds. And instantly I have them roll over to a flat wall and I do what I call a don't shoot and called for pretty obvious reasons. You keep the elbows on the wall, the hands on the wall, and they make arcs up and arcs down. Shirley Sarman uh, promoted these exercises a long time ago and you can still find them in some of her publications. And the idea here is after we stretch the chest and take the tone out of those muscles, I want to strengthen the rhomboids, the lower trapezius, and the serratus anterior. So I will do 60 seconds of stretch in a door frame and then I will have the patient do 15 of these exercises and I'll have them do that three times a day, helping to promote this type of posture by stretching to take the tone out of these guys and these guys and strengthen the muscles in the backside that hold you in this posture.